بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and جزاكم الله خير for joining us today uh, with our daily program for the first 10 days of the Hijjah a Da'i's Diary so we want to redefine what a Da'i is in this program and this is what it's all about a Da'i is not someone who went to a particular institute institution got formal Islamic knowledge every Muslim has the capability of giving da'wah to their own capacity and in the context Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put them in so today inshallah we have uh, a successful uh, entrepreneur who's very dear to our hearts who we know since we were young mashallah tabarakallah and when they were young as well uh, father uh, owner of a uh, franchise called Coco Grinder and other restaurants, bagel shops, and other businesses in New York City. Um, Brother Abdul Rahman Al Ainani, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Wa Alaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh, and thank you for having me in this uh, amazing program. Barakallah fiq, Habibi. And by the way, you know, I forgot to mention this guy is the, the, the discoverer of the best chai latte uh, on the face <laughs> of this earth. You know, I never tasted a chai latte like yours. Uh, if you never tried it, then you should try it, inshallah ta'ala. <laughs> but aside from the chai latte, because now when I saw your face, I just remembered the chai latte, right? But I'm like, yo, now, uh, inshallah, this, this interview is going to be as sweet as your chai latte, bi'idhnillah ta'ala. So today, inshallah, I want to ask you a question, right? Um, for those that don't know about like Coco Grinder and about Abdul Rahman, you came on the news and you, your, story, your story surfaced on the news a few times. I remember the first time I was back in Saudi Arabia, I don't know how many years ago, and your store got robbed. And there was something you did when uh, your store got stolen. You woke up in the morning, you found out it got broken into. What did you do and how did you... Um, deal with it as a Muslim, that's a da'i, as a Muslim that acknowledges and knows their responsibility uh, towards his deen. Can you tell us what went through your mind and how you reacted? Because I don't remember the story exactly. Yes, I will. So uh, it was in August, I forget the exact day. The uh, store was broken into overnight. Uh, register was robbed with the cash that was in there, plus the office cash. And uh, I got a phone call in the morning at like 6.30, 6.45 in the morning from the NYPD telling me, hey, your store got robbed, uh, ABC. I'm like, all right, sure, no problem. Uh, first reaction, I, I always think of the worst to happen. I always expect the worst. So if anything that I see, I've already imagined the worst, so I'm not very shocked. So I got there, and I just see glass is broken, cash is missing. It was only 3,000 3, and changing cash from what I remember. And uh, I'm just like, who would have robbed a store, a coffee shop out of all stores that has like the lowest gross sales on the avenue? Just come in and just take our, you know, our daily. I just said to myself, you know what? This guy must have been in need for him to do that. He was desperate. He saw open windows. He saw this glass all over the place. I'm just break into this. Let me get in there. Let me take what I want. Let me leave. I was just like, you know what, I want, I want to get in touch with this guy somehow. And the only way to do it was just to put a message out there in front of my store to try to re reach out to this guy and get this guy. And unfortunately, until now, I haven't, I didn't, I don't know who this guy, like who this guy is that did it. So I just put like, it was a, literally a heart to heart message about uh, the incident that happened and reaching out, genuinely asking if you really wanted help or not. And I could have helped him more. And little did I know it message went viral out of nowhere and I had no idea that was going to happen. It was literally out of my heart. And then, subhanAllah, it just went all over the place. And just, I think seven or eight people have converted that I know of personally because of that message. That, I that one there. simple message. And it was like a sign that you put outside of your store. Yeah, it was a banner. That was like an email it was format. Like a and do you remember what you put on it? Uh... I, I, I remember exactly telling the guy, the, like, we, we're all sinners, we're all human beings, we all make mistakes, but the best of sinners are the ones who repent, and I really hope that you find, like, your path, I really hope you find yourself, 
And if you ever do need anything, if you ever need a job, if you ever need any kind of... So wait a minute. So basically you just got robbed for a few thousand dollars. And yeah. was this your first business or you had other businesses at that time or? Yeah, we had, we had I had other locations. It wasn't just oh, okay. that. So, yeah. so you had this business, you got robbed for 3,000. You said, you know what? I got robbed, I might as well. Like, and, and you just thought to yourself, you know, let me let me convert it into a, like a dawa experience. Was that the the thing, or you just genuinely? It was, thought, hey, you know, this guy really needs help. It was more like um, I wouldn't say it was directly dawa. Just because dawa, it's labeled dawa. I, I believe just you being yourself, you being a normal. Thing. Uh -huh. Keep going about life the way you're supposed to go about Screw anybody. Just be nice to them. And then no longer. So you're obviously some kind of Muslim. And just, I think that alone kind of gives them a positive message about who we are and how we are and how we should be. Not like what the media portrayed us as. Um, so I, it was just more of like a human to human message. But, but I think that is the most touched message you can get from a human. When you don't label it as, oh, this is what Islam tells me, this is what Christianity uh, Just doing, I think the purest of da'wah, the best of da'wah, the best way to go about it, doing what a human is supposed to do, because that's what Islam is. It's not that's it. That's it. That's exactly what it is. You very, know? It's, it's, it's very simple. In a time like this, when media is always attacking Muslims, when we just when we just show the humane part of us, that alone will kind of change the views of Muslims in people's eyes. Allahu Akbar. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And look at the impact that had. You know, I just want everybody that listened to this to know that this is like a huge impact. Something very small can go a long way if it's done with sincerity, for the right reason. You know, and is is genuine. You know, and this genuineness can go a long way. And by the way, uh, there's something that I noticed. When I went in your cafe, uh, your cafe is, is halal, right? Yes. And there's something, when, I, when, you, when you enter the cafe, there's a big sign on the right, um, and there's a saying. And on the bottom it said, Muhammad, peace be upon him. Right? Yes. So it was an actual hadith that you put up in your store. Do people come yes. and ask, uh, come and ask, like, who is Muhammad or? Yeah, there was this one lady when I first put it, when I first opened up back in 2015, that the location that had that sign. A lady, her name was Maria, I forgot her last name, Zervoski, something like that. She actually converted because of that sign. It was just like says, you do, you do not do evil to those who do evil to you, but you deal with them with forgiveness and kindness. And that is just a simple message from Islam. It's like when the Prophet Sallallahu when he used to wait, get up every day and try to leave his house and he sees uh, uh, cow feces and dirt and garbage in front of his door. And then when one day he woke up and he didn't see that, he was like, what ha Like, where is it? What happened? And he was oh, because the guy is sick. He went and he visited and the person converted just because of that. So you don't, you don't return it with evil, you return it with, with, with kindness. Them. So I encourage you, I just walk away, you know, let, let it be. Why? Because I'm a Muslim. I don't need to, you, you hurt me, come. You, you want a chocolate bar? What do you want? Come. You know, it'll kind of change the person's, uh, it'll kind of shift his anger into just this, like, whoa, what the hell just happened? It'll, it'll hit him harder than a knockout punch. It'll be like, whoa, yes. like, you know what I mean? This is pretty, pretty insane what just happened here. Yes, it's definitely, it's a wake-up call, you know, it's a wake-up call. Yeah. And then, but this is, like, just our general conduct as Muslimin, should be our, should be the Muslim's image, right? I don't think, you know, this whole thing of, of in order to give da'wah, call people to Islam, you have to be this like person that did extensive research in Islam and have so much knowledge. No, it's not, it's, it's not that difficult. It's just you living up to the deen, you being a, a human and someone who does things for the sake of Allah, who, someone who is observant, you know, uh, for the right. most part. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be this amazing individual. We're not saying you got to be Sheikh al-Islam. You know, you can give right. dawah whichever context you are, subhanAllah. 
And right. I remember you also had bottles, your bottles of water that were specific to the store, and they also had uh, prophetic sayings as well, right? Murad, I'm sorry, because every time I get a phone call, that's what happens. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. It's the water. Sorry. No, no, it's okay, Habibi. So what, what do you think? Uh, so I, I was asking you about the bottles of water also in, in your store. So you designed yes. all this yourself. It, it was yes. from you, and you said, hey, I want to have my own bottles of water uh, unique to, to Cocoa Grinder, your, fra your, 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 uh, uh, your restaurant uh, franchise, and, or the cafe franchise, and you put uh, your, the hadith of the Prophet on the bottle. What inspired you to do that? Yeah, so I have it on every water bottle. I have it on every coffee cup that walks out of the store. It's printed on the coffee sleeve. So at Even the bottom, it'll coffee say, cups. You don't do evil. Um, yeah, yeah. It's printed on all the cups. Allahu Akbar. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. So that, it just spreads more awareness to Islam and how, who we are. You know, yes. having that one message in the store wouldn't be enough. It's only so much foot traffic. But when someone goes out and they're in the train, they're drinking a cup and they read that little line, like they're, they're curious to know what it says. And when they find out what it is, like, whoa, okay. They search it up. M. Because it doesn't say Muhammad completely, just out of respect. So it says M T B U H in parentheses. If somebody puts that in Google, it'll pop up automatically as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Exactly, Subhanallah. Yeah. And that's uh, that's so beautiful because because it's even if it's not, uh, yani, our goal is to to let people know who Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is and what Muslims are exactly. about. You know, it's not about them converting to Islam as much as it is us doing our job. Uh, conveying the message, letting them know right. what we're about, you know, and right. this is a beautiful way to do that, Wallah Abdul Rahman. It's really, really inspirational, really uh, admirable. Something that, yeah, uh, we're hoping that anyone who listens to this, if you plan on opening your own business, you can get a lot of ajr. Uh, just like Abdul Rahman, you know, for every cup that you sell, every bottle of water that you sell, every time somebody comes in and sees a prophetic saying uh, in your store. Uh, and how many stores do you have now where, like, you have that now, prophetic saying? We're at, we're, we're at 11. We're at 11. So now every time a customer walks in one of these 11 stores, subhanAllah, you're getting ajr for giving da'wah. Yes. You do your job, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives uh, the tawfiq from him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless yes. you for your efforts, Abdul Rahman. Inshallah, Allah yes. subhanahu wa ta'ala unites between us, uh, inshallah, yes. on a nice cup of chai latte very, very soon. And, I'll send you some out. I'll, uh, I'll overnight it. Just send me Hager. I'll do it. <laughs> Inshallah, I'm sure it'll be a little cold by the time it gets here. No, 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 no. You can make it at home. Don't worry. I'll give you the instructions. Oh, really? Mashallah. <laughs> Jazakumullah khair. That'll be very um, appreciated, Yani. Really appreciated. Inshallah, we'll do it. Allah barakfiq, Habibi, man. Thank you so much for joining us to today's program. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and your family and, and uh, give you rizq and prosperity and... May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you tawfiq in this da'wah that you're doing. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ameen, and with Allah, this, Allah, 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 thank you so much. And thank you so much for hosting me so for, in this epic program. Barakallahu Allah, Allah, Yeah, everything you. we do here at Epic is epic. And now wrapping up the program, Jazakumullah Khair for tuning in uh, to today's program. It was very nice. Uh, inshallah ta'ala, stay tuned. We have more programs where this is coming from. And the whole point is to redefine what da'wah is. We want you to understand that you are capable to do da'wah and you are capable of doing a way more effective da'wah than what perhaps you perceive as an effective da'wah. Uh, so just think, be creative, have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in front of you, have Islam in your heart, have a strong identity in Islam, be proud of it, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you tawfiq. Jazakumullah khair, and inshallah, we'll see you guys later. Stay tuned uh, for our programs, and if you did not subscribe already, Please press subscribe on the bottom. That's how you help us keep going. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. فَمَنْ تَعَجَّلَ فِي يَوْمَيْنِ فَلَا إِثْمَ عَلَيْهِ وَمَنْ تَأَخَّرَ فَلَا إِثْمَ عَلَيْهِ لِمَنِ اتَّقَى وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَاعْلَمُوا أَنَّ 
إِنَّكُمْ إِلَيْهِ تُحْشَرُونَ 